Hey everybody, happy Sunday to all of you watching and a very happy Mother's Day to all you special moms out there. Wishing you a very beautiful day. Hopefully you're being spoiled and getting all the nice uh, relaxation and special treats uh, that you very, very much deserve. And especially uh, happy Mother's Day to my own mom who I miss. I can't be with her today. She lives in another state and especially due to all of this fun stay at home quarantine. Um, I was actually supposed to be out there visiting with her and so I'm sad but we're still doing the whole virtual thing FaceTime you know thank God for technology but um, happy Mother's Day mom um, anyways I hope you guys are planning a fabulous week and I have some kind of some mixtures cigars for your week of smoking including this new one that I have in my hand here which I'll get to momentarily but starting with number five we have the Magdalia, that's a McAuliffe cigar that's named after the matriarch of the family. Very beautiful woman. And so I thought it was appropriate to include it on this week's list for a very special top five. So this one is featuring a four-year-old San Andres Habano wrapper, a Sumatra binder, a Nicaraguan and Dominican on the filler. It is a slightly fuller body stick. It is available in two different Vitolas. Um, I happen to like the newer of the two, which is the six by 46, a beautiful size. Um, as I mentioned, it's slightly fuller bodied. It does have nice notes of graham cracker, toasted bread, a little bit of cinnamon spice, cedar, um, a little bit of black pepper spice as well, but just a nice overall balanced cigar. Moving on to number four, we have the Deadwood Sweet Jane. So this is a, um, I guess you want to call it flavored, but it's not really necessarily flavored as it is. Um, they have a special wording for how they describe it. It's made by Drew Estate exclusively for Deadwood Tobacco. And they have their whole line. You guys have probably seen it before. Um, I love that line because of their bands. They all have the Day of the Dead skull. So there's a Sweet Jane, there's a Fat Bottom Betty, and there is, what is the other one? Sweet, no, Crazy Alice. So um, just a fun line. But the Sweet Jane is kind of like the go-to if you like those infused type of cigars um, it does have a special maduro wrapper and then again that process of like a very aromatic and exotic type of tobacco filler that brings out that natural sweetness in the cigar um, similar it reminds me of kind of like the aroma of a nice pipe tobacco but it has um, an interesting twist to it so again very aromatic it has a little uh, background note of mocha it you can pull out some of the earthiness but again it's a sweeter type of cigar so it is good for different times of the day but also for somebody that's maybe not a huge traditional cigar smoker they're just maybe trying to find something to light up to join you this is a great way plus it has a beautiful band as i already mentioned um, so the sweet jane is the number four cigar and number three this week is going out to the flor de inclan the lancero version um, just a beautiful offering from Villager Cigars. They put this out a while ago. The Lancero was a limited edition Vitola, but their regular Flor de Inclan you should be able to find, um, I would say, in a variety of brick and mortars around. Um, again, just a nice offering with an Ecuadorian wrapper, Indonesian binder, Nicaraguan and Dominican filler. You do pick up notes of citrus, black pepper, kind of a dried cedar and then a little bit of a, like a roasted coffee. You get a nice creamy, um, creamy sense with the smoke itself. So again, really nice offering from Villager, the Flor de Inclan, which I do have a review of, come to think of it. I think I did it as a pairing um, a couple years back. So you can find it if you scroll through my YouTube channel and just, or just type in Flor de Inclan. Um, you can find that cigar review for more information about it. And second on the list is the Rose of Sharon Lancero, of course. I picked Lance, three Lanceros this week uh, on purpose because the Lancero is such an elegant Vitola. And for those of you who have never smoked a Lancero or you're not a huge fan of Lanceros, give it a try. It will change your perspective if you really honestly um, just kind of take it in and smoke it and you, and you smoke a good one, which are the ones that you know I'm recommending here. Um, but again, I thought it was very appropriate for Mother's Day celebrations um, because it's a very elegant 
Vitola. So again, the Rose of Sharon in the Lancero format, Ecuadorian sun-grown Connecticut wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, Nicaraguan viso and seco, Dominican piloto cubano ligero filler. So you do get a little bit of an oomph in there with that ligero mixed in. Graham crackers, hay, you get a nice oat, kind of an oat milk. So you have a creaminess to it. Um, it has a cashew nut background black pepper, a little bit of cinnamon, um, peanut you pick up in there, milk chocolate, just an exquisite cigar. Uh, very, very nice. So definitely um, a beautiful cigar named after another beautiful woman in the industry, Sharon Holt, uh, as part of Southern Draw Cigars. And number one, as I mentioned, is a new release by Falto Cigars. This is in one of the cigars he's releasing, celebrating his 25th anniversary as a cigar maker. Uh, as you know, I've mentioned him many times, Luis Falto. He's a good friend of mine and an excellent person. He is one of the most humble people that you'll meet. He has a uh, ultimate, oh, sorry, I always mix it up, an ultimate um, premium boutique cigar line. So he uses top grade tobacco and everything. He doesn't make a crazy amount of cigars. He makes um, just enough to distribute to, you know, brick and mortar accounts that he has throughout, mostly throughout the United States. There, and of course in Puerto Rico, there's the Cigar House, which carries his cigars as well. Um, and you can find him again, different states throughout the United States carry um, Falto products, but he's just um, somebody who makes cigars because they're just a true passion of his. And so I would like to, you know, celebrate him and tell him happy anniversary. 25 years is very significant, especially as a smaller company that is just, you know, not getting inundated with all these different crazy blends. What is um, unique to Luis Falto is he always makes his blends in a specific Vitola. So he actually blends with that Vitola in mind as the best way to experience that blend, which I've seen a few people kind of follow suit on a, a couple different cigars with that in mind, but he is the original one who started doing that in just, you know, one particular Vitola in a, in a certain blend, because that is the way that as the maker of the cigar, you know, that's how he meant it to be experienced. So I thought that's a nice touch. So this one is the La Pureza. It's a beautiful Lancero. And it's featuring an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, Dominican Criollo 98 for the binder, and then Dominican filler. Has a nice meatiness to it, um, creamy smoke. Has somewhat of a, not heavy, but a medium to fuller experience um, so far. Um, picking up a little bit of light pepper. Um, it, it, it is creamy as well. Um, there's a woodsy background to it, but um, this is the first time that I'm smoking it, so I'm gonna continue to smoke it down and I'll, I will be doing a review of this one coming up, but you should be able to find these in certain brick and mortars, as I mentioned, mostly in the United States, so be sure to be on the lookout for the Falto La Pureza in this beautiful Lancero. And again, wishing all of you mothers a very happy, happy Mother's Day, um, and I hope you guys have a great week. Stay safe and healthy out there, and God bless you. Cheers.